Hey guys, Too Legit City here. Today we're going to be talking about some of the Oni basics. Today we're going to talk about germs, but specifically food poisoning and slime lung. Of course, we're just going to be going over the basics of both of these diseases, since these two diseases are the most common ones you guys will run into, especially early on. Now to get it started, we actually have the germ tab right here open up. This germ tab actually tells you the chance upon interacting with the germs in a certain way that you get infected. Specifically because these germs actually could only be contracted if you contracted a certain way. We'll get into that in a little bit after we go over the specific germs. But it's every time you guys interact with it in a certain way, this is the chance that your duplicates actually get sick. Now, of course, to get started, let's actually talk about food poisoning. Now, food poisoning, if you guys don't know, actually come from your duplicates. Food poisoning actually happens when your duplicates pee out every day. As their bladder fills up, they're going to have to empty out the bladder, typically in the outhouse or the lavatory. The germs then gets displaced onto the duplicates themselves, onto the polluted water if you're using the lavatory, and the polluted dirt if you're using an outhouse. That means that these two buildings are sources of food poisoning along with your dupes and of course when you wash your hands. The food poisoning also goes on to the polluted water on either the wash basin or the sink. Now food poisoning is a germ as you can see right there and if you duplicates consume something with the germs meaning that they eat or drink water in our case, drinking water from the water cooler or eating something that you guys cook. That means that if the ingredients have food poisoning on it, the germs usually pass along to whatever food you make as long as you guys are not cooking it. Now, that also brings up another thing. Only when you eat or drink the germ, that means that if you guys have food poisoning in the oxygen like this, it's actually not a bad thing as your duplicates cannot get food poisoning from breathing in oxygen. It's a 0% chance. That means that using a polluted water vent, converting that germy food poisoning polluted water into water to feed to your electrolyzers, it's okay. Now, there, of course, this does mean that if your duplicates are eating around in this area, the airborne food poisoning can get to their food as well. So if you guys cook with germy ingredients, or eat in a germy environment with food poisoning on it, it could get onto the food when your dupes eat it and then get them sick. But breathe in the oxygen is perfectly fine. So that just means that you need to keep your food area clear of these germs. Now, food poisoning in and of itself is not too bad. All it does is increase the rate of which your duplicates have to use the restroom by increasing their bladder, but it will cure itself over two days and cannot kill you. But that has been food poisoning. Now let's go to slime lung. Now slime lung over here, you could see there is a vent right here that's producing it. And when we deodorize the germs into oxygen, the germs don't actually multiply. It actually runs thin and dies out immediately. That's because slime lung only is able to multiply on polluted oxygen. That means if you get rid of the polluted oxygen and make it into regular oxygen, the germs are going to have no shot of actually surviving and they will die out rather quickly. Now, slime lung is actually on the other side of the same coin food poisoning is on. If you guys eat food with slime lung on it, it's actually fine. Meaning that if you have slime lung in the air while your duplicates are eating, they cannot get the germs from eating and it will not get sick. However, if they're eating in an area with the disease and the germs running rapid in the oxygen, they could easily breathe it in and get sick though. But if you guys were to grow something like mushrooms, for example, and you guys are trying to grow some dust caps and you guys fertilize that with slime and the slime gets onto the plants, you guys could eat the raw mushrooms perfectly fine just because eating something with slime lung on it cannot get you infected. Slime lung specifically has to be breathed in, which is the exact opposite of food poisoning. So since slime lung has to be breathed in, your duplicates can eat food with it no problem. Now that being said though, slime lung is not that dangerous as well, just like food poisoning. For the most part, all it does is make your 
duplicants cough every now and then, reduce their athleticism by three points, and after a couple of cycles, it will go away as well. It also makes it so that your duplicants lose their breath a little bit faster. So anytime they're holding their breath, it actually ticks down faster if they're affected by the slime lung. But for the most part, slime lung is actually not too bad in and of itself. It comes from, of course, over here from the geyser, from slime, if you guys have seen that in the green biome, and from morbs, if you guys have not seen the critter. There is a little critter right here called the morb that actually produces polluted oxygen with slime lung on it. So watch out. If you guys see this guy around, turn on your germ overlay. There's a good chance he's creating a lot of germs. Now, a thing with slime lung is that slime lung, if you just make sure that the germs is not on polluted oxygen, it's not really anything to worry about. Even when it's on polluted oxygen, as I said before, it's not lethal. So for the most part, as long as you keep your area clear of polluted oxygen, you're going to be safe regardless of if you have duplicates with the disease or not. It just makes it so that it makes it hard for you to have an outbreak in your colony. But both diseases are really weak, will not kill you outright, and that has been the Oni Basics. A lot of people don't know how you can actually contract and just want to provide a little bit of information for you guys so that you guys know more about the diseases so that you guys could combat them properly. If you guys enjoyed the video or have any questions, leave a comment down below. I want to hear from you guys. And of course, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, guys.